Pillars, grids, and guides help you place content. It helps you utilize the space in your designs the best. But if you're used to something like InDesign, when you come into Illustrator, it feels like, well, where are my guides? Where are my grids? Well, with Illustrator, you have to do a couple of things to set those up, but I'm going to show you some techniques to help you manage your space within Illustrator. So first, let's talk about a few preferences that might come into play here. I'm going to go up to Illustrator, Preferences. If you're on a PC, that would be Edit Preferences. And the first one we're going to look at is Units. So this is where we're going to tell Illustrator what units of measurement we want to see. So if points or pixels are not familiar with you, you might want to change things to inches. The other thing you might want to look at is your grids and guides. So currently, my guides are cyan. Now, depending on what you're working with, you might want to change those to help you better view them. For our purposes today, I'm just going to switch them to medium blue just so you can see them a little bit better. I can also change them from lines to dots. So one of the things you might want is that your guides are lines and say your grids are dots to differentiate between those two. Same thing here, you can add your color and you can move your grids in front or in back. So we've got that set up. So let's look at that grid first of all. So to get our grid up, we're going to go to View, and Show Grid. And so there is all of our grid, and we can zoom in and see that. And we could change those colors right now if we wanted to. So none of this is um, locked in stone. We'll just turn those a nice green color. And so here is my one inch grid. Now if I wanted to snap objects to that, I could go View and Snap to Grid. So that means every object would snap neatly to that grid. Let me show you. And so it's neatly snapping. I can't put that halfway between those. So as long as it comes within two pixels of that, it's going to snap to that point. Now, there is a pixel preview, so if you wanted to have things snap to a specific pixel, you could do that as well. Now let's say you don't want to use this type of grid. You kind of want to establish your own. I'm just going to hide that with Command Apostrophe, and I'm going to bring up my rulers. So again, through View, Rulers, and Show Rulers. Now, since we changed, we can see this in inches now. So I can pull out guides this way. Now by default, these are not locked. But if I want to, I can lock these. So if I go to View, Guides, I can lock those guides or release them. I can also show and hide those. Well, that gives us some good measuring pieces to start, but let's say we want to create a grid kind of like we do in InDesign. How would we get started with margins? Easy peasy. So I'm going to use shapes to help me set my margins. So. I want to create half-inch squares that are going to represent half-inch margins. And 
and I'm going to move these into each corner. I just want to make sure it gets that full intersect. There we go. And now I'm just going to copy it into all four corners. So each of those squares is a half inch and I could then either draw out my rulers and use those as a measuring and I'm holding shift so that it snaps into place. I can also select all of those shapes and go to view guides and make guides. And now I have guides there instead of shapes. Let's take another look at how we can create some guides. And this time I'm going to draw a rectangle the size of my page. We're just going to make that have a stroke, no fill. And I'm going to go to Object, Path, Split into Grid. Now this grid is going to allow me to set my rows and columns. So I'm going to say I have a five column design. And I know I want a one pica gutter. I don't know that in inches. No big deal. I'm just going to type 1P. And Illustrator does the math for me. So I'll set up eight rows one pica, and watch this. Right here, I can add guides with those shapes. So I'm going to hit OK. And we have guides and shapes here. Now, obviously, I don't need the shapes. I just need the guides. Great way to use your layers. So I could come through, and if I wanted to delete all of those paths, I can delete those and I'm left with just the guides I created. And if I wanted to, I can lock that layer. Now I can't move those and do all of my artwork on the layer above it. So that should help you use some grids, some guides, some rulers, and make sure that you're using your space correctly in the way you want inside of Illustrator.